Jeffrey Tubin, a joke of a legal expert, went at it with Glenn Greenwald on CNN. I mean, this is like a neurosurgeon debating a kindergartner. Let's listen. That charge, but I think what Manning did was appalling. I think he betrayed his fellow members of the military, he betrayed the Foreign Service, and he should be going to prison, and he will be. Glenn, I know you disagree. I do. I think uh, the, the verdict, and I also think that Jeff's comments kind of underscore what a lot of people really hate about Washington, which is that if you're sufficiently rich and powerful and well-connected in Washington, the laws don't apply to you, you don't get punished. The only people who do are people like Bradley Manning. The theory that the government used, one of which was not successful, but much of, many of which were, was that he engaged in espionage and helped the enemy because the material that he caused to be published on the Internet ended up being helpful to Osama bin Laden. Bob Woodward has written book after book after book and has become extremely rich by publishing secrets way more sensitive than anything Bradley Manning ever published. Nothing that Manning published was top secret, unlike what Bob Woodward publishes. And yet nobody I would ever talk about Bob Woodward the way that Jeff Tubin just did or his sources um, because he's in good standing in Washington. His sources are high-level officials in, in the White House. They leak all the time. Washington is nothing about leaks. Um, and yet the only people who get punished for it are, are people who are marginalized in Washington, and that's a broader uh, reflection of how the law is abused. Jeff, what about I that? Because you do have people leaking all the time for you, political you, reasons. You do have some leaking going on, and you know, I, I, we can have a debate on a case-by-case -case basis, but Bradley Manning released 700,000 cables including the life's work of a lot of Foreign Service officers who risk their lives and the people they talk to risk their lives to talk to American officials and the idea that Bradley Manning has the right and that was somehow justified in releasing this material I think is just completely wrong and and you know you Bob Woodward is is a separate story and unrelated as far as I'm concerned. Tubin has no idea what he's talking about so let's go from the beginning. Greenwald makes a great point that I honestly never thought of before. I never considered that about Bob Woodward, but it's totally true. Woodward literally released state secrets in his books, and Osama bin Laden, when he was alive, said, I read Bob Woodward's new book. So do you get Greenwald's point? State secrets published, read by Al-Qaeda, and nobody thought for a second that we should lock up Bob Woodward. But also on a daily basis, secret information is released, but as long as the secret information is beneficial to the White House, then they say, oh, go, go, go ahead, release more secret information. We don't care. Release secrets all day long. Only when your secrets are embarrassing to the government and it shows something immoral or corrupt or stupid, they go after you. Oh, and then Tubin's points were so stupid they're laughable. He said, Bradley Manning doesn't have the right to release this information. Actually, no, the government doesn't have the right to classify non-secrets as secrets. So yes, Manning does have the right and should release uh, the information so we know what our government is doing in our name with our money. It's kind of the whole point of having a, a free press. Uh, and then he says, oh, the Bob Woodward situation, that's totally different, totally different. Really? How? It's not different at all. In fact, it's worse. Because uh, for Woodward, we know Al-Qaeda read the book because they told us so. They continue. It's, but it's not up to Bradley Manning to make the decision to disclose this. I mean, the, these are people who, the, the people who wrote those cables have devoted their lives to trying to make the world a better place, particularly foreign service officers. You know, maybe you disagree about that, Glenn, but I admire the foreign service a great deal. And, you know, I trust their judgment about what's a secret a lot more than I do Bradley Manning. Right, and look, look, Jeff, you can make that argument in every leak case. I mean, people back in the 1960s said Daniel Ellsberg was a traitor. Who was Daniel Ellsberg to decide what should be leaked to the American public? I trust U.S. generals way more than some Daniel Ellsberg who I never voted for, and yet what Daniel Ellsberg did was expose systematic lies on the part of the U.S. government. In the Bush years, people said whoever told Dana Priest at the Washington Post that the Bush administration had secret CIA prisons or whoever told the New York Times that the Bush administration was spying without warrants, what right did they have to disclose secrets? 
secrets. This is how journalism, investigative journalism works, Jeff, is that people inside the government with a conscience come forward when they find out things that their government is doing that are wrong and they disclose it to the world through media outlets and journalism. If you think that's criminal, you're essentially calling for the end of investigative journalism. That is what investigative journalism is about. No, no, I... Damn, Greenwald fucked him up. So from the top, Tubin says, it's not up to Bradley Manning to release this. Again, that's incorrect. It's not up to the government to say things that aren't and shouldn't be secrets are secrets. They horrifically abuse that. And also, a government official swear an oath to the Constitution of the United States and to protect it against enemies foreign and domestic. So if the executive branch is disregarding the Constitution, it's their duty to point out things like this and to do what they did. Uh, and he goes, uh, but people have worked their lives to get that information. And? I mean, how does that make your point at all? If anything, isn't that argument on our side? Because shouldn't the media report on something if it's their life work? I mean, isn't that the whole idea of democracy? We're well-educated based on the facts, and then we make decisions based off of that? Uh, and then Greenwald just takes a mallet to his head at the end. He says, look, man, this is textbook investigative journalism. So if you're against it, you're just simply against the First Amendment and against freedom of the press. And that's okay, but call it what it is and say what you are. You are literally un-American. 